Well, as is always the case, there is no lack of fierce competition at this Big Ten basketball tournament. The Badgers showing very well in Minneapolis. First time the tournament has been in the Twin Cities. We'll recap the Badgers to date. We sit down with Isaac Lindsay before he got banged up. We'll talk about some of his work on the scout team as well as getting in the rotation at times. And we'll visit with head coach Greg Gard. All coming up on this week's edition of the Badgers Sports Report. Wall sideline, rival throwing in, 2.7 seconds to play. Wall looking and looking, still looking into Hepburn. Cutting off the right wing to the rim, layup, good! We're tied! We're going to overtime! Hepburn at the buzzer! Husband of the right wing, Warrior defending. Husband thinking about it. And a jab step. Oh, he lost his balance, so almost go awkwardly. Gilmore for three up top, back there, no! Store flies in the lane and sends it in. Two-hand stuff from A.J. Store tied at 70. Smith pounding the dribble, 25 to play, 16 to shoot. Smith still pounding it. Right hand in to Hepburn. Charge called on Braden Smith. Hepburn took the charge, and now the Badgers have a chance to win it. With 15, here's Klesman. Stops inside the right elbow, needs help out to Hepburn. 10 seconds left. Hepburn against Jones. Kicks to Cousins, to the line, in the lane, goes up, back, rim it in! 4.8 to play, Badgers up one, here's Jones with four, with three, right side with two, heaves it, missed it, and the Badgers win it! They'll play for the title tomorrow! Max Klesman in the lane for the win, 76 to 75! confidence is coming from the chemistry that we've all built this bond that we've built in the locker room it's carrying it outside onto the floor now and you know our ability to learn during that stretch in late February early March um, and not dwell on it look at that look at it as, as a burden so um, it's coming into work every day everybody's super positive ready to go ready to learn um, and I think that's just starting to show now on the floor but there's not a better group of guys I'd want to be around I'm just I've really never been this far in March in my career, so I just want to keep playing with the dudes we got in this locker room. Just a terrific uh, March game, and uh, excited to, you know, watch these guys mature and grow and get better as the season's going on, and and uh, they're playing their best basketball right now, which is where you want to be. This is Wisconsin basketball, and Wall with a steal. Tyler with the pump, down the lane, slam dunk. Three on one, flips the score, down the lane, and he hammers it with the right hand. With two, Hepburn down, off the glass, off the glass. He slips it in the crowd, low on the left, slam dunk. Another three-point hit for Connor is Seijin. The Badger Sports Report is presented by UW Health. UW Health Sports Medicine, treating the Badgers, treating you. And is brought to you by the Construction Business Group, Wisconsin operating engineers and respected contractors. BuildingWisconsinTogether.com. And by Gruber Law Offices, a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. After a serious accident, you'll need a team to fight for the results you deserve. We're here for you whenever you need us. Gruber Law Offices, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. I've always been a storyteller. I capture those beautiful moments, things other people miss. My health took an unexpected turn, but my care team put my needs in focus designing solutions to support my ambitions. Now that's just a footnote in my journey, a small part of a story that's still being written. UW Health, remarkable. Want to play? Play High Chai Fortune Frenzy at hy V. Right now, buy a High Chai entree and win a prize in every fortune cookie. Prizes include free High Chai apps, free High Chai entrees, and you can enter to win big cash prizes, like $220, $2,200, $22,000. Grand prize? $220,000 in cash. Eat high chai, win free stuff. It's that easy. Only at High V. These are operating engineers. 
They operate top-of-the-line innovative machines and build stuff that matters. And operating engineers are well paid. They even get paid to train. As an apprentice, you can make $56,000 a year from day one during training. No school loans and no debt. When your training is complete, you'll have a stable career job that is high skill, high tech, and high pay. We need operating engineers right now. Your future can begin today. After a serious accident, you'll need a team to fight for the results you deserve. We're here for you whenever you need us. Groover Law Offices, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. 10.38 left in the half, 23-14 Northwestern. Score throws to Klesman, Max off the right wing. Now Crowell, open three, straight on, straight through for Steven Crowell. All against Bowie, now the double from Luke Hunger. Tyler throws to Crowell, now A.J. left of the lane, attacking to the rim, up and in with the right hand. They get 30 to 25, Wisconsin. 4.53 left in the half. Here's the no Here he up. goes. No one stopping the ball. Reverse layup, no good. Rebound back tap. Winter out to Kleisman. Max throws to Store. Open three. Right side. Yes, sir. AJ Store gives the Badgers an eight point lead. In the lane around Kleisman. A block inside by. Looked like McGee Kamari got it. McGee. Are you kidding me? It was Kamari oh. McGee. Kamari McGee flying in there for the rejection. Here's Crowell, right of the lane, backing, passes out of the double. Here's Kamari, extra pass, store left corner. AJ drives to the rim, layup, good. And it's the extra pass by Kamari McGee to get AJ the ball and let him drive and go. What a sequence for Kamari McGee. Great to see the team, you know, be able to adapt and adjust to different teams, different style of plays, you know. Um, we knew that Northwestern was not going to roll over easy. We knew we were going to be in a fight the whole game. So, you know, it's good to see that the team can just adjust on the fly like that. We've definitely found our mojo, our swag back. Um, and you can see it. We, get, we got it rolling. Um, and we're just going to keep pushing forward with this. The momentum we've gotten the last few weeks, we've been playing a whole bunch of different ways of finding a way to win. So just building experience, um, especially when we, now that we got our mojo going, just building off of that, finding different ways to win. Um, and it's a great, a great, great experience heading into the March Madness tournament. Tyler Wall with eight to shoot. Wall backing on Dante Scott. Backing, backing, left block, one pump, pivots, bounces out to Hepburn, feeds score, one to shoot. He will for three and hit it. A three for AJ score, and it's 10 5 Wisconsin. As they trade turnovers. 18 to 9 Wisconsin, 13 05 left first half. Nolan Winter throws to Blackwell, snaps off a three, left wing, got it. Oh, the Badgers on fire from distance. Timeout, Kevin Willard. He's going to survey the defense. High screen for Ilver. Gives it to Carter Gilmore. A step to his left. Gives it to McGee. A toss for Ilver. Flips to Klesman. Open three. Right side. Book. Max Klesman gets into the scoring column. Nolan Winter steps to his right. Gets it to Blackwell. A toss for Gilmore. Now a siege at deep three. Left side. Got it. There you go. Connor a siege in for three. And the lead is... 40 for the Wisconsin Badgers. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. We believe in financial security for Wisconsin public school employees and their families. WEA member benefits, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. WEABenefits.com. My favorite breakfast is Odyssey yogurt. I asked mommy where it comes from and she took me to a dairy farm to learn all about milk and most importantly, cows. Wisconsin cows are definitely the happiest, which means they make the tastiest yogurt. My favorite is blueberry. What's your flavor? Support your local farmers. E-I-E-I -E -I Odyssey. I had big dreams. Then I got sick. UW Health made it their mission to give me a fresh start and a new kidney. Now my dreams are infinite. UW Health. Remarkable. As the Big Ten tournament comes to a close up in Minneapolis, thought we would use these next few minutes to put a wrap on the regular season and give a shout out to some of those Badgers getting some all-conference recognition as we're joined by head coach Greg Gard. Well, we'll start with A.J. Storr, second team All-Big Ten, looking for more offense going into the season. and. Young man certainly provided. Yes, he is did. providing that, yes. not past tense, present yeah. tense. Is yeah, no, definitely. He's, you know, I think he. It's been 
a great learning experience for him. He's come in and, and soaked things in and, and learned a lot. I think it improved. I think if there's a, one player specifically, just because he was so new to everything that the jumps he's made, um, literally, you know, we've seen literally here on the yes. Cole Center floor, but uh, how he's improved both ends and still has, you know, a, a long ways to go in terms of getting to his full potential. But, you know, for him to be able to be recognized like this and come into a program and to have the impact he has, is it's good to see him, everybody else recognize that as well. Yeah, he's a newcomer as a sophomore, the transfer from St. John's, another newcomer, a freshman, John Blackwell, making the all-freshman team. Really a no-brainer. A lot of really good freshmen in right. this league, but a guy who's won four Big Ten Freshman of the Week awards, I mean, at both ends, right? He knew yeah. defensively. Yeah, knew defensively. Else. He had a chance to come in just because of his awareness and moxie on that end, as you could tell. Offensively, I, you know, I don't think anybody would have predicted he was going to have this type of an impact, but he really does it just by being solid. There's nothing – over the top about his game other than just being he has very few holes and very few weaknesses it's just plays solid possession after possession his basketball iq is really high he just has an innate feel for the game of right place right time what to do what not to do it when to do it when not to do it uh, all those things that as a coach you dream of having players like that because <laughs> he does things you don't teach he, he picked that stuff up when he was in grade school and and elementary school just his feel for the game you can tell he's played a lot of basketball and understands all components of it. We've talked a lot about the offense and how in the Big Ten it's made a significant jump last year to this. Three teams ended up averaging 80-plus overall in the regular season, and yet there are defensive standouts in this league, the all-defensive team. Really happy for Chucky Hepburn. He's certainly earned it. Absolutely. It, I heard Isaac Lindsay. I was talking to him a few weeks ago, and he said even in practice, Chucky gets that look, you know, and he knows when he's going up against some of the, the really high-profile guards. Right. That just ramps him up. Even oh, more. it does, and he's you know just the the commitment he's made to change his body. We've talked about that, and everybody has seen that, and that has been a part of him taking this jump. You know what he's been able to sustain and take on the best guards on the other and the opponent night after night, and really kind of neutralize them, if not completely eliminate them, or make life really hard at the very least uh, for the opposing opposing guards. But I'm really happy for Chucky because he has put a lot of time and made a huge commitment to being the best defensive player he can be. And I would say, uh, you know, set, uh, you know, he's closing in on steals records and all those type of things. But just his commitment that just didn't start in the season. Like I said, he's made this physical commitment to make himself better that's been going on almost two years. And you can now he's starting to reap the reward, rewards of his commitment to that. Yeah, the cool One of the cool parts of this is just watching how guys continue to develop on and off the floor. I think of Chucky and certainly Tyler Wall, those two guys, honorable mention, all-conference. Uh, you know, Tyler, the, the skinny guy, now the put-together guy with the beard, right. and someone who's just he's been incredibly valuable to this program. Yes, he's, he's, he's just been so consistent, specifically this year. You just look at his numbers, and, and quite frankly, maybe could have been higher, been on third team or so, but just been a model of consistency of, of how he's played and just the maturity. You mentioned Chucky too. Uh, the maturity in them off and, off and on the court has been an awesome thing to witness and watch and grow. And two great young men, you know, that have really taken leader, a leadership role this year and really proud of both of them. Yeah, as we've talked about it with, with those two guys specifically and the day that, that Howard Moore came back. Um, to the Cole Center for the first time in five years. And after the game, Tyler and Chucky were addressing the media and each made a point. Chucky actually unsolicited uh, about what it means to, to wear the uniform. Things are changing, as we all know in college athletics. But those are two guys who get it. Who Absolutely. Get it. And, and, and you mentioned things are changing. In the day and age of the transient nature and the trend transactional nature of, of college athletics, Tyler spending five years here and choosing to spend all of his five years here and really investing himself in it and getting better, not just going through the motions. And the same thing for Chucky. You know, he's made a commitment to this program, and he's obviously a huge part of the fabric of this program now. Um, it's a huge, you know, credit to them, to those two guys that, like I said, when all the things are swirling around them in today's world, that they stayed true to – to the Badgers and, and have done a great job of helping this team. And another chance for those guys to experience the madness of March. Right. Right? It doesn't get any better, does it? Best month of their life of the <laughs> basketball world. You know, maybe maybe Christmas is their favorite holiday, but March is the best month when you're 
player that has you know worked their whole lives and wanted to play in March Madness, here they are having an opportunity to do so. Yeah, never to be taken for granted, that's for sure. Congratulations to all those guys getting all conference recognition and congratulations to the team in general for getting back into the NCAA tournament. We'll take a break. More to come as we continue with the Badger Sports Report. After a serious accident, you'll need a team to fight for the results you deserve. We're here for you whenever you need us. Groover Law Offices, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. Want to play? Play High Chai Fortune Frenzy at High V. Right now, buy a High Chai entree and win a prize in every fortune cookie. Prizes include free High Chai apps, free High Chai entrees, and you can enter to win big cash prizes like $220, $2,200, $22,000. Grand prize? $220,000 in cash. Eat high chai. Win free stuff. It's that easy. Only at High V. WEA member benefits dedicated to helping Wisconsin public school employees become financially secure with programs designed for the education community. Proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics, weabenefits.com. Talk about the veterans on this Badger roster. And one of those veterans is Isaac Lindsay, third year in the program, transfer from UNLV, but a Wisconsin guy, Mineral Point Zone. Isaac, you know what? You've been a part of a Big Ten championship team. You've been a part of really good teams. This team looks like a really good team. I mean, but you, you live it every day. You like in the chemistry and everything involved with, with this year's Badger basketball yeah. team? I would say that's one of the biggest things I see compared to this team and the team that was able to get it done two years ago is the connectivity of everybody in the locker room. I mean, we spend time together all the time in here, but we're together all the time off the court too. And I think that really goes a long way, especially we kind of went through a tough stretch there and going through a tough stretch, a lot of teams can kind of fall apart there. And I think we stuck together as guys and hopefully we can get this thing back going the right way. Every team is different, but I remember you know, two years ago, you guys talked about the, the Maui tournament, which was in Vegas. Is yeah. that was like, hey, this, this looks like a team that's for real. Is it similar in some ways, Fort Myers, what you guys were able to do to Virginia, and then the comeback that you guys had against SMU? Yeah, no, I think for sure. That was a big one down there for us, those, both those games. Just getting those under our belt, and I think it reminds me a lot of that Maui tournament we went to. You get those, you get a championship. It's considered a championship down there. So I think just understanding what it takes to win one of those and then carrying it with you the rest of the season. It seems like, Isaac, almost every team in college basketball go through, goes through a tough stretch. What's the key to getting out of it? You, you guys, you had the, the four-game skid. You came back, beat Ohio State. What was the thing that maybe you guys were telling each other to pull yourselves out of that? Yeah, I think we kind of started to play a little tense. And everyone, you get that high ranking and you got feel like you have more pressure on it. You got to stay there. And I think we kind of lost the fun part of basketball. And I think the coaches have done a great job of that with us. Just go out there and have fun. We obviously know we had to get better at watching film and stuff like that. But I think ultimately it was just getting back to having fun, playing for each other. And I think you saw that in the Ohio State game, out there back together smiling. It was, it was fun again. So. And you guys have enough players there that, that can be the, uh, when I say class clown, that doesn't sound right, yeah. but guys who can loosen things up. You have a lot of those kind of guys. Yeah, we got a lot of those guys. It, it, <laughs> it starts at the top with T-Wall, and it goes at, all the way down the roster. So we, we got a bunch of guys that are fun guys to be around and we all contribute in our own way it makes it makes the team pretty special i would imagine that some badger fans are surprised when the first guy you mentioned was tyler wall because they very respected been around a long time they don't know that side of him that maybe chops it up with guys but he yeah. he's capable of doing that. no yeah he's he's my roommate here at <laughs> at home and roommate on the road so i spend a lot of time with him and yeah don't don't let it fool you all the time he is a clown so you, you do a great job of staying ready coast guard always talks about stay ready so you don't have to get ready you could be working primarily with the scouts and then on game day game night coach guards calling your number take us through your process how you stay ready for when your name is called yeah i mean a lot of the times i'm on the scout team in practice so i'm really trying to get those guys ready and then I don't get to guard it all the time. So for me, going back and watching film on my own and just kind of preparing myself that way, just, all right, here comes this action. I'm guarding this guy. Here's his tendencies. And I don't know. I'm, I'm grateful for every opportunity I get. So just staying ready. And it's my dream to be here and play in this arena. So I'm thankful every time I get to go out and do it. You mentioned getting other guys ready. That's a, that's a leadership role. 
right? Because you know people think they think of Tyler, they think of Chucky, but they should be thinking of you as well. You take that pretty resp pretty seriously, don't you? Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, I love going at these guys every day. We get in a little trash talk, me and Chucky, get going back and forth. That's <laughs> that's the fun part of it. I mean, I'm going at the best point guard in the country every day. So if I can give him some buckets, I'm pretty confident myself to give anybody else a few too. So I got to let him know a little bit. Yeah, he, he does have that knack particularly. I mean, obviously we know what he can do offensively. We've seen that in his career. Yeah. But defensively, his ability to just get into people. Yeah. more It's not a secret anymore. It hasn't been. But there, it just seems like there are certain games where he, he just has that look, yeah. right? You, you see, I see it, of course. In practice too. Once I see him start wiping those shoes, I'm like, all right, he's picking me up full court this time. So you got to get ready for him. So, yeah, he's he's great though. Quick feet, quick hands. So it, it helps me a lot. Be prepared for when I go in those games too. People know people who know your your bio, your your high school days at Mineral Point. It's we've had this conversation a couple years ago. The former head coach here took a lot of pride in being the guard, the shortstop, and the quarterback that was you um, take us through everybody when you're when you're growing up most guys you're, you're looking up at somebody if it's on television maybe you see a player in person did you have a guard a shortstop and a quarterback yeah. that you thought I kind of like how this guy plays yeah well for the guard position I mean I grew up watching the Badgers and I love watching Bronson Canning play he's I watched him in high school at the state tournament here and just how he could handle the rock and get to his pull-ups. and he was, he was fun to watch. So I, I watched him a lot growing up for basketball stuff. Um, football, I mean, football is kind of a combination of a lot of guys. I mean, I watch a lot of college football, but I spent a lot of time watching my high school too. And uh, the quarterback before me, he had a rocket arm. So I was watching how he threw it. And then before that, my cousin played a little bit too, and he was a scrambling quarterback. So I kind of took a little bit from both of those guys. and. I ran a lot and I threw a lot, so I'd say I credit those guys for my quarterback stuff. Um, in baseball, I honestly wasn't a huge baseball guy. It was just all my best friends played baseball, so I was, I'm was i like, I'm gonna play baseball with them. <laughs> but uh, MLB The Show growing up, I was always playing with Hanley Ramirez, so. There you go. I would say I liked his game. I liked his swag, I guess, on the field. Well, you say for not being a baseball guy, you hit like 500, right? Yeah. Playing shortstop, yeah. little state tournament run. Yeah, you can ask all my friends, though. That first week back of baseball practice, I could barely hit it off the tee. So I needed to get my reps in. So but once I got it going, I was pretty confident back there. It seems like every every sport you can be humble, but I've heard more guys, I mean, you know, historically Michael Jordan, when he played in the minor leagues, briefly in the major leagues, that baseball is – Football is a very physical collision sport, basketball, contact sport. But baseball can humble you in a hurry. Right? Oh, real fast, real <laughs> fast. So I remember when I saw my first curveball, two strikes on me, I fell down at the plate, and it dropped right down the middle. So, yeah, you got to shake that one off and come back for the next one. But, yeah, that's a tough look when you're on the on your back and strike three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, final thought as we circle back to, to this team. Uh, you've When I talk to the young guys, they mentioned how the atmospheres in the Big Ten arena, for the most part, is electrifying. And the deeper you get in the season, the more difficult everything is. You you have lived that. So are you one of those who like passes on to the young guy? Hey, you know John Blackwell, even AJ Store in this league. Yeah. It's it's going to get harder. So don't yeah. don't let yourself get too discouraged if the going gets a little tough. Yeah. No, for sure. I mean, you look. The other teams learn about us all year and. I mean, when you have that ranking next to your name too, all the crowds are going to be ready to come at you. They'll, they'll say whatever, so it doesn't matter. You got to just be able to block that stuff out and trust the work you put in. Trust the coaches that they've got us in the right spots and just go out and do what we all know we can do. All right, Isaac Lindsay, big part of this Wisconsin basketball team. We'll take a break. More to come as we continue with the Badger Sports Report. I had big dreams. Then I got sick. UW Health made it their mission to give me a fresh start and a new kidney. Now my dreams are infinite. UW Health. Remarkable. These are operating engineers. They operate top-of-the-line innovative machines and build stuff that matters. And operating engineers are well paid. They even get paid to train. As an apprentice, you can make $56,000 a year from day one during training. No school loans and no debt. When your training is complete, you'll have a stable career job that is high skill, high tech, and high pay. We need operating engineers right now. Your future can begin today. After a serious accident, you'll need a team to fight for the results you deserve. We're here for you whenever you need us. Groover Law Offices, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. 
One call, that's all. The Badger Sports Report is presented by UW Health. UW Health Sports Medicine, treating the Badgers, treating you. And is brought to you by the Construction Business Group, Wisconsin operating engineers and respected contractors. BuildingWisconsinTogether.com and by Gruber Law Offices, a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. It's back to the NCAA tournament for the Wisconsin Badgers after just a one-year absence, right back into the field of 68. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks for watching. This has been a presentation from Learfield. I've always been a storyteller. I capture those beautiful moments, things other people miss. My health took an unexpected turn, but my care team put my needs in focus, designing solutions to support my ambitions. Now that's just a footnote in my journey, a small part of a story that's still being written. UW Health, remarkable. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. At WEA Member Benefits, we believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. Proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics, weabenefits.com. My favorite breakfast is Odyssey yogurt. I asked mommy where it comes from and she took me to a dairy farm to learn all about milk and most importantly, cows. Wisconsin cows are definitely the happiest, which means they make the tastiest yogurt. My favorite is blueberry. What's your flavor? Support your local farmers. E-I-E-I -E -I Odyssey.